So for this problem, I want to work through another percent by mass uh, type of calculation. So if we have C8H7M3O2, which is the uh, molecular formula of the organic compound luminol, if we want to calculate the percentage of nitrogen in this molecule, uh, we first have to break down the molecule in terms of molar mass. Uh, so this particular type of problem, again, doesn't require anything that you haven't seen before, but it's very important to remember the fundamentals of being able to go from grams to moles and how we calculate molar mass. So we want to calculate the percentage by mass of nitrogen in C8H7N3O2. I like to work it out systematically, so you could do a lot of this work in your calculator. So if we're looking at carbon, it's going to be 8 carbons times the molar mass of carbon, which is 12.011 grams per mole. and that's equal to a number that we'll calculate in a second. Hydrogen. We have seven hydrogens. So 1.008 grams per mole, but we have seven of them. Nitrogen. We have three nitrogens, the nitrogen weighs 14.007 grams per mole, and oxygen. We have two oxygens. times 12.011, so this gives me 96.088. If I'm paying attention to my significant figures, I'm okay. Uh, I've got five significant figures here, five significant figures there, uh, but we'll take care of that at the end. So we have 7.056. And all of these are in the unit of gram per mole still. You could shove all these numbers in your calculator, but again, I like to do it systematically, and we'll see in a second why that's going to be useful. So 3 times 14.007. nitrogen, its contribution is 42.021 grams per mole. If I shove all my numbers into my calculator, I will get the molar mass of the entire compound, but then I still have to go back and get the molar mass of the nitrogens by themselves, whereas here I've got it explicitly written out. And the mass of the oxygens also grams per mole. So now we add all these numbers up to get our total molar mass. Okay, so this gives me 177.163 grams per mole. So that's my total molar mass uh, for this compound. We want the percent by mass of nitrogen. So percent by mass is 
going to be the mass of the nitrogen atoms, which is 42.021 grams per mole, divided by the total molar mass. And I went ahead and put my units in just to make a point. Percentages, oops, not quite done, uh, times 100. Make this into a percentage. Percentages are dimensionalist values. Grams per mole, grams per mole. So that cancels, so there's no unit uh, of measure. And that, again, is consistent with a percentage. So 42.021 divided by 177.163 times 100. And this gives me 23.7188. And now if we look for our significant figures. We have one, two, three, four, five significant figures here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we need to round this up. So that's our answer. 23.719% nitrogen by mass.